Hey everybody, Luke here, and we are back on balance again today, looking at different ways you can test your balance. So if you've been watching any of the videos in this sequence, I've got quite a bit of information already in terms of the different things that affect your balance, how your brain helps you maintain your balance, how your body does. I've got the eight factors that can influence your balance. And in today's video, um, this is just a few simple tests that we do in the clinic to test your balance. And uh, I'm not necessarily recommending you try these tests at home. So let's just be clear about that, unless you're in a very safe environment where you're not at risk of falling, because the last thing you wanna do when you're testing your balance or trying to improve your balance is have a fall. So just keep that in mind. I'm not necessarily telling you to go out and do this. I'm just showing you how we do it I'm in the clinic, and I'll explain a little bit about how we interpret the tests um, towards the end here too. So very basic stuff here. I'm not actually gonna show you the full length version of how we do it, um, but just kinda of walk you through it. So there's four positions. Call these the Romberg. Uh, so basically, the way you're gonna start out is on a firm surface, like a hard, you know, hardwood floor, linoleum floor. And what I have people do is just have with their feet together, cross their arms over their chest, and for 30 seconds, just try to maintain balance with your eyes open. So for most people, this is an easy test to do. You've got your feet on a firm surface, um, you've got your eyes open, you've got all this visual input, and most folks will do fine with this, with this position. So that's the first one. The second position then with the Romberg is same position with your feet, firm surface, but you're gonna close your eyes. So again, for 30 seconds, you're gonna close your eyes. This is where you're gonna to start to see some interesting things with people, or I start to see interesting things. You may not find it that interesting yourself, but you may feel it on this one a little bit because a lot of people are very reliant on their vision for their balance. So the vision gives your brain lots of information about where you are in relationship to your environment, which is that first step in uh, maintaining balance is having the sensation of where are you. So if you get someone or if you are visual reliant, visually dominant for balance, when you close your eyes, you're gonna kinda go, okay. Yeah, that's difficult, even though you're on a firm surface, okay? So that's the second position. The third position then is you're gonna get on a squishy surface. In the clinic, it's kinda big there, we just use a big piece of foam. So it's like a squishy piece of foam. Put that on the floor, do the same thing. Stand on it, let's pretend I'm standing on it. So I'll fall over on a video. Um, but you put your feet together, cross your arms over here, and now that you have a squishy surface, you might be a little bit wobbly, and you're just trying to maintain your balance for 30 seconds, again, with your eyes open. So right now, you look at this test, well, you still have your visual input, but now with your sensation through your feet, which is one of your three balance systems, that's being compromised because now you're on a squishy surface. It's harder to give yourself accurate information um, just via your sensation. Um, so with that one, people tend to get a little wobbly. The hardest one, obviously, we say for last is the position number four, where you've got your feet together on the foam, your arms are still crossed, and now you're going to close your eyes. So you can imagine now this is the hardest position for most folks, especially if you're visually dominant and especially if you don't have the strongest or best tuned inner ear. So with this one, people tend to get real wobbly. If you've really got an inner ear deficit and you're super reliant on your vision, and maybe you've got some sensation issues as well, and um, maybe you have things like neuropathy or things like that, then you're really gonna go have a hard time with this one. Um, combine that maybe with some weakness in your ankles and muscles so you're not responding very quickly. This is gonna tell us a lot of information. And so again, it's not, it's not extremely cut and dry in terms of what each test means. So you've got to, as clinicians, we take a look at this test or these four positions in kind of the whole view of everything else that we've seen during your evaluation. So things like strength, um, sensation, fatigue, endurance, things like that, pain, all of these things that can be affecting your performance on these four positions. Um, but basically we have a pretty good idea, especially with that fourth test, about how good your inner ear is at responding to some of these balance issues. And for a lot of folks, that's an integral part of their treatments when they're trying to improve their balance. Say, okay, well, let's do some specific balance exercises like, like you're doing in the test that will improve the sensitivity and the strength, if you will, of your inner ear so that these systems can be improved. So again, that's the Romberg. Um, I already said it twice. I think I'll say it one more time. Again, I'm not necessarily saying, hey, go out and do the Romberg and self-assess yourself and do this and that. Um, but just know that there are things like that that give us good information about balance. So um, hope that helps give you a little more idea of how we're putting the puzzle together with all these different you know, pieces and how we help people eventually figure out what's going on what are the two or three things we can help them focus on inside the clinic to improve their balance? And of course, they're doing things on their own in terms of exercise as well. But this is how we approach um, helping people with their balance, um, you know, avoid the next fall, get back some confidence, 
um, just get back to enjoying life and, and not having to sit on the sidelines. So there you go. If you have more questions or comments, please leave them below the video. And thank you for watching.